We've got a really cool amp to demo for you today. This is a 1956 Fender Tweed Twin. Let's go through some of the details of the amp. This is the 50 watt version of the Twin. I think the high powered was 80 watts. Ear splittingly loud and not really usable except in a big venue. This is 50 watts, which is a lot, but something you can still play in a fairly small area. Um, a medium sized gig and it's not going to overwhelm everything. I mean, this is a, you know, a fairly small basement music room. It's got some space and I can play it here. I can sit right next to it. It doesn't kill me, but it can, it's capable of quite a bit of volume. It's dual rectified, got a full load of tubes on here. So it's a lot of power. That means it also is capable of some really beautiful, clean sounds. Tweeds are not known for the clean, clean sounds they can produce. Although even on the smaller amps, they are capable of quite lovely sounds. A deluxe, you know, be careful with a deluxe, as you know, we always say, because it starts breaking up at two. <laughs> so there's not a lot of headroom on it, but you can dial it in at a low volume and get some really nice, unique, clean tones. So they're famous for the crunch, but the hidden secret on the tweeds is the clean. A lot of guys like uh, a little champ, just barely turn it up and mic it, you get really pretty sparkling clean tones. Well, on this, you get that with a lot of power and low end. It's just got a lot of thump to it. Two 12 inch speakers. You know, you just can't quite replicate that with say a 410 Basement or even a 210 Super. Although both you know, are powerful amps in their own right. This just gives you a <coughs> full range of thump and bottom end that you can't get. So sonically, that's really what this particular circuit delivers is clean. You can crank it and overdrive it. It's certainly there, uh, but it's it's you're going to get the, the cleans out of this one. Uh, what else do we say about the amp? Well, the core of it, the heart of it, the essence of it is original, the, the important stuff. Transformers, all the iron is original. Um, the pots, all the key components there. The tweed on the cabinet, the grill cloth, all that core stuff is original. Um, although this was a workhorse amp for somebody, they used it and took care of it over the years, so it's obviously had some upkeep. Uh, what's been involved with that? Well, first of all, there's been a servicing done to it. Uh, you can see that a lot of power caps are swapped out. Um, you know, a lot of people look at that and go, oh, I wish it was all original. Well, yeah, I mean, if it was a museum piece, yeah, but if you actually want to play it, you need to change those. I made the mistake early on in my, you know, um, journey in collecting to think, I'm just going to keep all the original caps in there and just play it anyway. Well, you know, I blew a transformer on a near mint 1959 Deluxe. So what would you rather have? An amp that you can play or one that you're going to blow a transformer on? Better to have replaced caps than a, a faulty transformer. Uh, the tweed is all original. Uh, along the edge here on the back, it looks like uh, that tweed kind of came up over time. So I, they, they trimmed it right along the edge, right where the back panels are, and I think glued uh, some loose pieces back in a few places. But that's not, that's not no big deal in the sense that that happens on these uh, old amps. Another thing is the baffle board on these amps um, is, is very thin, and unfortunately this one failed actually when it was shipped to me. It was a really big bummer because it was intact when I got it, but the people who shipped it to me didn't quite pack it right and blew out the baffle. Still have the original baffle. If you want to try to reinforce it and repair it, you can. I'll include it with the sale. But we have a correct spec uh, baffle replacement from Mather Cabs. Very good work done by Mather Cabs. Perfect fit in here. And we even reused the old grill cloth, stretched it out, got it nice and even and tight. It actually looks better than it did on the original baffle. Um, so that's very, very cool. Grill cloth still in great shape, you know, a couple little nicks and stuff, no big deal. Uh, the handle's been, uh, the placement at one time was moved. Um, the handle's replaced, but these brackets are original. Um, I got one, I had one 1955 Jensen that I put in here because the speakers I had weren't original. That's been reconed. And then I got, I think, a Weber 
that's the similar look that I put in there as well. So I'm kind of hunting down a 1955 or 56 Jensen that I can put in here to match it. Um, and if I do, I'll update the listing and let you know and adjust things accordingly. But for now, you get one air correct speaker and one uh, replacement. So that's a quick rundown of the Fender uh, Tweed Twin. Uh, very rare amp. Um, oh, another thing is this had metal corners on it, probably like blackface style, so you can see the little holes here. Those have been, those have been taken off. Um, but that's pretty much it. The cabinet's very solid. Um, you know, you, sometimes on these, you know, you can move it and shake it and you can kind of feel it move. Not at all on this. Uh, but yeah, so it's had, you know, typical service and upkeep on these. You know, um, you could say, oh man, I wish everything were 100% original. I'm like, yeah, sure, of course. Of course we all would. But the reality is these were meant to be played. And this is one you can play. You can take with you, you can play. You don't have to worry about like corrupting its pristine originality you can take it and play. And it does carry with it the authenticity you want from a vintage piece because particularly the transformers and the tweet on this are original. One final thing I just remembered, the upper back panel, you can obviously see it. Uh, it's, it looks to be a replacement. It could be the original wood that's been retweeted, uh, but that, that's been changed as well. So anyway, it is what it is at this point. Still a rare, valuable, awesome sounding, Vintage Tweed Amp. You don't see a lot of these. You're not going to find a lot of these. Uh, so this one's up for sale. Thanks for checking it out. Hope you enjoyed it.